guys welcome back to Koi Time USA what we're doing today is we are going to be making a nitrite filter so basically we're doing aquaponics watercress uh, so we're gonna measure up we're gonna staple that up against the uh, uh, 4x4 there and then I'm gonna staple this uh, corners of the uh, 200 micron mesh and then run 50 line 50 pound test line between them uh, I want to make it this wide from here to here so the watercress can grow on it. Uh, we got something in the mail here today. Uh, we're going to go ahead and unbox it and see. Alright, so this here is a big sheet of 200 micron mesh, which is uh, about 70 uh, um, micron uh, that I ordered. Uh, Alright, guys, so this here is the uh, 200 mesh, which is uh, about 70 micron uh, nylon uh, screen that I uh, recently purchased is pretty big. So what I did is I uh, used 50 pound test line, put some screws in right there, put a screw in the other side and I put the 50 pound fishing line test line really taut in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna staple the uh, 200 mesh against the 2 by, uh, 4x4 and let it bow down and touch the water and then use the regular staples and staple the uh, mesh on this side, keep it taut. And go ahead and make this cut here real quick. Okay, so we're just uh, stapling uh, the mesh here, the net here, and we're just gonna run it all the way through. Okay, so I managed to staple it all the way through the 50 line te uh, test line here. There's uh, around two lines of it, so be strong enough to hold the weight of the watercress. So next I'm gonna have to do is uh, measure it and, and staple it to this side. Make it like a trough for the watercress to sit in and grow. We get in the pond. All right guys, so this is the uh, finished product of the um, Koi Pond Aquaponics, watercress aquaponics. Um, a great example of why I use such a fine netting is because that I don't want food to get into the roots of the watercress and it, 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 it just stays there and it gets clogged. Uh, so it's actually really good that it's really fine mesh, it'll keep all the food out. Uh, so the only thing we have to do now is uh, add the watercress. So I'll show you why we have the watercress up. The watercress is over here. We've been harvesting and we eating it. But uh, yeah, we've been. So right here, I'll just uproot them and rinse them and I'll throw them inside the, uh, the pond. Follow me, let's go throw it in. See, I don't really want to have the dead leaves that they're inside there. So like this, I'll throw it in the side.
with the roots of touching water. Come here and pull a bunch. Make sure the red, dead roots are out. Don't want any dead leaves in the pond. So all these roots are here. And it's growing on pretty much dry land right now. We throw it in the water. So come come up with a vengeance. Just want to make sure I spread them out. Make sure they're submerged. See that? the dead leaves out as much as you can but you don't want dead leaves in there Alright guys, so there you go. 